Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Pretty Guys, another video. In today's video, we're gonna cover the best shotgun or combination for up close gunfights. Because if you guys don't know, the double pump is gone for good, yo. RIP double pump. It was here, it was gone, it was here, it was gone, and now it's gone for good, you guys. It does suck. They were trying to get rid of it, but for some reason they were never able to fully get rid of the double pump until season five update. So in today's video, I'm gonna cover the best technique and tip to use to get more up close kills and stuff like that because the double pump is gone guys RIP but let's get into the video So now that the double pump is gone, people have been curious as to what weapons they should use as their close range weapons. Now we all know that we use an assault rifle for like medium to long range, and then we use a sniper rifle for very long range to long range and stuff like that. But we need up close. What do we use up close? Do we use the shotgun still, even though it just took a massive nerf because the pump shotgun shoots very slow, stuff like that. Is the tactical shotgun better now and stuff like that. So I've been playing around with the shotguns a little bit, trying to see what I like using and what I don't like using, and I'm going to give it to you guys here straight this was not an easy task especially with them releasing all these new submachine guns to the game uh, and get, getting rid of the tactical SMG which was one of my favorite SMGs just because of the fire rate on it was extremely fast that you would melt kids instantly with that weapon so with all the new gun updates and stuff like that I want to bring you guys this video because I want to show you guys the best combination of weapons to use now that the double pump is gone so basically the double pump is gone, so what do you use Do you, when you see a green pump shotgun and a green tactical shotgun in a house? Do you use the pump or do you use the tactical shotgun and stuff like that? So when it comes to early game and you find nothing but a pump shotgun and a tactical shotgun in a house, my best tip and suggestion for you guys is to rock the tactical SMG. Just because the pump fire rate is extremely slow that to the point where if you miss that one pump shot, and you can't one pump them to the head, they might have a tactical shotgun or something else or SMG and they can melt you a lot quicker than you think. So so it's a lot better to use a tactical SMG because you can still one shot people to the head at early game because they don't have shields and stuff like that. To deal 100 damage is very easy early game. So I definitely think the tactical shotgun early game is a little bit better to use just because again, like I said, the fire rate is extremely fast. So if you do miss your shot, you can go ahead and hit them with the next shot extremely quick right after. So best tip, best suggestion early game rock the tactical smg the green pump shotgun isn't really needed there's nothing really special about it to be honest if you find a blue tactical shotgun and you find a green pump i would probably rock the blue tactical shotgun just because of the fire rate and the damage on it is still extremely good so it is better to use the green or the blue tactical shotgun over the green pump you guys i promise you that and especially if you're playing anything besides solo like if you're doing squads and stuff like that it is also a lot better to use the tactical shotgun instead because not only are you having a faster fire rate but you have more ammo in your clip so that way you're not having to reload and stuff like that and when you're dealing with four people on the enemy team because you're doing squads and stuff like that you want to have as much time to actually be able to actually fight rather than sitting in a one by one trying to reload your weapons because you just ran out of all this ammo so basically when it comes down to it if you only have a one weapon slot for close range fights I would definitely rock the tactical shotgun over the pump shotgun just because you have more in your clip. The fire rate's a lot faster. The damage is still fairly good on it, but you're only using one weapon. You don't have another weapon to switch to in order to shoot. Now, again, we have the heavy shotgun that we haven't talked about yet. Now, of course, the heavy shotgun is definitely better than the tactical and the pump shotgun just because in any situation that I say, I'm going to pick the heavy shotgun over both of these items no matter what. If, if you find all three items together and that's the only weapon you can pick, pick up the gold legendary uh, uh pump shotgun or heavy shotgun because again like i said it is a very the, the magazine size is a lot bigger if fire rate is pretty quick it's like a mixture of both of them so it's the best of both worlds and the damage is a lot bigger and also on the heavy shotgun the reticle on it is a lot smaller so now if you guys didn't notice in the update there's these little red dots in that little reticle that you see once you hit somebody those are the pellets that the, that person got hit with with that shotgun shot so with the heavy shotgun having a smaller reticle it means your your shots are more compact and focused into that smaller reticle so you're going to do more damage with that rather than the tactical shotgun 
over it. So again, like I said, always pick the heavy shotgun over any other shotgun in the game. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably going to maybe say otherwise, but honestly, it, it is true. If anyone agrees with this, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below that you agree with that heavy shotgun is the best shotgun in the game. But we're talking about weapon combinations now. So now that we talked about like the solo weapons, like if you only have room for one, like basically say you have a two chug jugs or chug jug and two big pots and you don't have room to carry two uh, basically close range shotgun weapons or, or any weapons up close and stuff like that. What you want to do is carry the tactical or anything that has a faster fire rate over the pump shotgun. So the pump shotgun is no longer dominant when it comes to that factor. So basically weapon combinations which one is the best weapon combination to have and i'm gonna be honest with you having the tactical shotgun and then a submachine gun as a weapon combination is probably not the best combination that you want to have in the game now this is because the the damage on the tactical smg is not strong enough to the point where you want to go ahead and switch to your other weapon and the fire rate on it is pretty quick to the point where you don't even want to have to switch to your submachine gun unless you're trying to destroy someone's structure so the submachine guns are good for not just close range fights they're good for destroying structures and stuff like that so say you have a tactical uh, shotgun and then you have a smg or something like that you don't ever want to switch to your smg you want to constantly use that tactical shotgun unless you run out of ammo in the shotgun or if somebody builds something and you have to get around it and you want to try to shoot down their wall or something like that that's when you switch to your tactical or your smg or something like that but other than that i mean the fire rate on it is just so quick to the point where you don't need to change anything about it so guys in my opinion don't rock the tactical shotgun with another SMG or double SMG or anything like that because it's not really needed. Again, the only time you need it is the time where I mention it. So with that being said, yes, you want to rock the pump with an SMG. You don't want to rock the pump with a tactical shotgun. You never want to rock two shotguns anymore with this new update just because of the whole loading screen where you can't double pump anymore. So it's just there's no point to doing it. Now the question comes, which SMG do you want to run? Do you want to run the drum gun? Do you want to run the suppressed SMG or the new SMG that they added to the game? And they're supposedly adding another new one, so we're probably going to have to update this video in the next week or two, uh, so stay tuned for that. But we're going to cover which one of these SMGs are the best weapon to run when it comes to us up close and close range fights after you hit them with a pump shotgun or the heavy shotgun or something like that so again when it comes to comboing if you see a, a pump and a heavy shotgun always pick up the heavy use the heavy as the first one and then the pump the pump is just a just in case if you can't find the heavy shotgun basically like that so now that we have the shotguns out the way of which one do you want to use when you find it which one should you pick up and which one should you leave alone we got that all covered you guys basically the heavy is on top and then the blue pump and then we have the blue tag tactical smg or not smg the blue tactical shotgun and then we have the other shotguns like the pump and then the tactical any other color and stuff like that so now that that's out the way we can talk about smgs and which one you should use now we also have the colors and stuff like that of course the better color is the one you want to pick up when it comes down to it but the smgs are, are a little bit more of a personal preference just because oh guys watch this clip in the background by the way that's playing right now i hit every single sniper shot on each person it's insane i was going off with this sniper but yeah the smgs are all personal preferences because when you think about it you want to decide which smg is better the drum gun is a slower fire rate but the magazine size is so big that you don't have to reload it as often and then we have the suppressed smg where it's super quiet so nobody can hear where you're coming from and stuff like that so it is very good on that side and then we have the new smg where it's basically in a mixture of in between both it's very it's pretty fast it's not like the tactical smg that they ended up vaulting but it's pretty fast it's a faster smg that is pretty loud and uh it, it, the magazine size is only 30 so it's not as good as the drum gun when it comes to magazine size but with the damage it makes up with damage so now comes a question of which one do you want to use and this this varies on each person so if you're watching this video right now you need to determine what kind of a fortnite player are you are you very good at building because if you're a good builder and you don't need help building and stuff like that i suggest rocking the new smg in the game if you're not that good at building i suggest rocking the drum gun and this is for a reason right here as if somebody builds above you and they get above you instead of trying to build around to get above them all you have to do is shoot down their structure and you have the drum gun the the, the, the magazine size is just massive so all you have to do is just spray and just keep spraying constantly at that one location so if you're not the best builder in the world the best combination to use is a shotgun with heavy damage aka the heavy shotgun or the pump and then followed up by the drum gun so that way you can destroy the the enemy's uh structures and stuff like that now the next thing um if you are a good builder you want to use the the new smg just because of the clip is kind of smaller um but the damage on it is really good to the point where you're going to be building a lot of the times and the only 
only time you're gonna need the SMG is to actually hit your shots. You hit them with a the shotgun and then you use that SMG to hit your shots and stuff like that. So that is when that shotgun comes in play. Now the the silent SMG, sad to say, it, it, it always was the worst gun in the game until they buffed the SMGs completely where there's no uh, basically bloom or anything like that. It shoots, every bullet hits and stuff like that and it started melting. But with all these other SMGs coming out, it is no longer one of the best guns in the game. It's now just like how it used to always be just the suppressed SMG that no one really cared about. It is still a very good gun, but again, like I said, it's not better than the other two SMGs. So guys, there you guys have it. The best combination when it comes to double pumping because double pump is gone, so the best weapon combination to use. So basically, with that being said, we have the heavy gold shotgun followed up by the new blue smg that is my favorite weapon combination now again i will use the blue drum gun depending on how i'm feeling that day if i want to destroy people's structures and stuff like that but with that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video peace